Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I am going to film a what I eat in a day video for you guys, except the only thing that's a little bit different, we're still eating high protein. My macros have changed and I'm going to go over those in a second, but today we are eating meat free. I'm not eating any meat. I am eating dairy though. So if you are vegan, then I think this is going to be a great video for you to kind of take inspiration from and, you know, tweak and figure out like little meals that you can definitely eat. Um, I'm eating meat free today solely because it's the end of the week. It's January 18th, 2024 as I'm filming this and I have not done my groceries because it's the end of the week. So I usually do one big grocery shop, you know, in the weekend to meal prep and stuff like that. And I've just run out of meats. I am a first in first out kind of person. So I like to utilize what I have on hand in my kitchen or in my fridge. And I just don't have any meats, but I can still, and I've calculated everything. I can still hit my protein gains without eating meat, which is fun, but I do eat a lot of dairy so keep that in mind if you're lactose intolerant or if you're vegan or something like that then keep that in mind but i am eating a lot of dairy so the last time i did a video for you guys i was eating 138 grams of protein i have now since changed the macros the calories are a little bit higher now i'm still at a deficit because i'm still trying to gain my muscle of course but my protein has gone down slightly and my carb has gone up a little bit to give myself a little bit more of an energy boost. So I am eating 130 grams of protein a day. I always go over in this. So 130, if I make it, I'm happy, but I typically do go over by like six or seven, which is nothing really. Um, and then I'm eating 185 grams of carb. I do have to admit, I tend to go over in carb a lot, but because I go over in carb, this is not intentional either. I just don't eat many fatty things. My fat is always relatively under and I try to stay under 64 grams. So I'm supposed to hit 64 grams of fat a day, but I'm always under in fat for whatever reason. And that's just how it is. So if I go over carbs, I'm not totally gutted over that um, because there is a little bit of leeway since my fats are so low and then I'm just happy to hit my protein. That's what I always try to do. So today's breakfast is very similar to what I ate the last time I filmed to what I eat in a day, but I forgot to film this for you guys because I initially made my breakfast and then decided, oh wait, today I'm eating meat free and I thought it would be a great video for you. So I already finished that. So I had a Fear Life protein. I heated it up in my Breville milk frother and then I poured a shot of matcha in there and it was chef's kiss. So I already consumed that. This is already done. 150 calories, 30 grams of protein, three grams of carb, two and a half grams of fat. Super good thing to have. I love Fair Life protein shakes. And then for breakfast, I'm going to show you guys what I'm having for breakfast. It's a little bit different than the last time, but still a variation of what I typically eat. This time I'm changing it up. I'm eating Oikos plain Greek yogurt. So it's the 0% milk fat version for a 175 grams. It's six grams of carb, zero grams of fat and 19 grams of protein. It's hundred calories. And then I have cheesecake jello powder in here it's the fat free sugar free kind and it's just three and a half grams it's around the same it's like 12 calories two and a half grams carbs zero fat and zero protein it's just to give it a little bit of flavor i add in 15 grams of chia seeds in here six grams of carb four and a half grams of fat two grams of protein 70 calories chia seeds are really just to help me get in a lot of fiber and then I have in here 62 grams of fresh raspberries, as you can see, 32 calories, seven and a half grams of carb, 0 0.4 grams of fat, and 0 0.7 grams of protein. Berries are a, a really good fruit to eat if you are, you know, trying to hit macros. And then lastly, to make it really fun, I have 10 Lily's white chocolate style baking chips in here. It's 17 calories, three grams of carb, 1.3 grams of fat, and 0 0.2 grams of protein. And yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy this now. It's a variation. The past few days, I've actually been doing a chocolate version and I've been heating it up. So I do this with, instead of chia seeds, oats. 
and then I heat it up in the microwave and then put um, like milk chocolate on top, like Lily's milk chocolate, and it is chef's kiss, so good. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this breakfast now. So to go over the macros for my total breakfast, including the protein shake, it was 381 calories total. 28.9 grams of carb, 8.7 grams of fat, and 51.9 grams of protein. It is lunchtime now. I am having the most mismatched lunch ever because it is so cold in Toronto right now and I just, I cannot be bothered to go to the grocery store. So I'm going to make do with what I have at home. I meal prepped my dinner, so... I, I have that already set out, but for lunch, I didn't have anything. So I'm obsessed with jacket potatoes. I'm on jacket potato TikTok at the moment, and I've already been eating jacket potatoes all week long, and I don't have any other toppings to put on my jacket potatoes now. I also need to use up some cheese because I just need to use it up. But here's what I have for lunch at the moment. I have a 9.6 ounce um, jacket potato or a russet potato, sorry, and then a Korean fish stick. Korean fish stick is not the most macro friendly. It's a 50 gram fish stick, 100 calories, 10 carb, 5 fat, and 4 grams of protein. So realistically, not the best thing for you, but it's not horrible either. This 9.6 um, ounce russet potato is 12.1 grams of protein, 0 0.2 grams of fat, and 44.8 grams of carb. Again, I don't mind eating carb ever, so happy to have that. Considering it's just a potato it has protein so that's pretty good and then i have some a quarter cup of mozzarella on here and that is one gram of carb five grams of fat eight grams of protein 80 calories for the quarter cup or 30 grams so i'm going to enjoy this and I did put some salted butter on here. So I just did a teaspoon, zero protein, 3.7 grams of fat, zero carb, 33 calories for this. So I'm going to get to it. So I air fried it. Look how freaking good that is. Yesterday I put Trader Joe's beans and tomato sauce on top and it was delectable. It was very good. You can dress this up any way you want. You could do a cottage cheese and cheddar kind of queso mix. Like you just have to make that prior. Again, I don't have anything right now in my kitchen. So this is what I'm going to have. I'm just going to enjoy this now. Okay, bye. Update. The fish stick is too fishy for me. I do not like it. I didn't even take one bite. I spat it out. I'm not eating the fish stick. So take the fish stick off of my macros. I did want to mention that for the russet potato, I did slather it in about a teaspoon of olive oil. So I'm going to go over the total macros for the little baked potato I had for lunch. It was a total of 347 calories, a whopping total of 45.8 grams of carb, 13.4 grams of fat, and 20.7 grams of protein. So it wasn't a lot of protein. Mainly I got it from cheese and the potato. If you added beans to this, it would be so great. I'm okay with eating a little less protein for lunch just because I'm gonna have another Fairlife shake in about 30 minutes or so. Um, I just needed to eat some sort of lunch real quick. So that's what I had for lunch. I finally changed. I'm having my snack now. It is later than expected because I had to do some filming and it took me way longer than I anticipated. But here is my snack for today. I would eat something else, but I really need to get this video edited. So I'm going to edit this video first, drink this real quick just to get my protein in. For the chocolate version, it is the same macros as the vanilla, 150 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, 4 grams of carb, and 30 grams of protein. I'm going to chug this, edit my video so I can get it out, and then I will focus on dinner. It's finally dinner time. I was filming, I was editing, I was on a roll, and when I get on a roll, I need to get things done and I don't want to stop. So it's dinner time. It is 5.30. I like to eat dinner early, so this is what I'm eating today. It is a tofu and chickpea butter chicken. There is no meat in this. It is all 
vegan actually because I used coconut milk for this. So I will link the recipe in the description below. 100 grams of edamame. I always have this on hand in the freezer. It is just a really easy veggie to get in so you can get your fiber intake. It also has protein. I have some freshly cooked rice as well. This is just white rice. It's 50 grams. I figured I would lean on the lower end in the rice. I just want it to soak up some of the sauce there. So for this whole meal, it's 568 calories, 58.6 grams of carb, 23 grams of fat, and 33.5 grams of protein, which is pretty good considering we have no meat. So I'm gonna enjoy this now. I also have a Diet Coke as my beverage, but there's no carb, no fat, no protein in this. So this is gonna be you know, not included in my macros, but cheers everyone. Hello guys, end of night. This is going to conclude my what I eat in a day, no meat edition. And I'm having my dessert now. This is what I'm having for dessert. I am just having a nice heaping bowl of cinnamon Chex Cheerios. Oh my God, it's not Cheerios. Cinnamon Chex Cereal. I keep calling it Cheerios for some reason. It's just Chex cereal, but the cinnamon one. It's really similar to like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, except it's not gonna be like overly sugary and stuff like that. I have in here 41 grams of the cinnamon Chex, and then I also have 242 milliliters of the Silk Brand Soy beverage, unsweetened. I could have went to 250 milliliters, I just didn't have it. Like I needed to use up whatever was left in that carton because I've had that open for about like three, four weeks now and I wanna use it up. Sometimes people say like not to keep like those milks out for too long. So anyways, I'm gonna consume this. It is a whopping 222 calories for this whole bowl, 29.1 grams of carb, 7.6 grams of fat, and 10.2 grams of protein. The Silk Brand soy milk has really good protein in it for, you know, being just like a milk. And then, to really end off the day, I'm gonna have this mini Kit Kat. I actually have leftover calories. I just don't want anything further. So this thing itself is 70 calories, nine grams of carb, four grams of fat, and 0 0.5 grams of protein. So let's just recap today's macros. I am at 146 grams of protein. And again, I went over by 16 grams, but I don't mind overeating in protein. I think the more protein, the merrier. I'm at 178 grams of carb, so I'm under by seven grams. And I'm at 59 grams of fat, so I'm under by five grams. So today I actually hit quite close to my carb and fat. Um, macros there but i am still under i have 80 calories remaining but i'm good i don't think i need to eat any more than i have eaten um but if i wanted like some sort of fruit or something like that i could definitely go and eat some something and like fit something into my macros or like a cheese or something like that but i think i'm good so that concludes today's meatless what i eat in a day high protein edition i hope you guys enjoyed today's little different video uh, let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Also, sorry I keep wearing these pajamas. It's just, today was a housekeeping day, so that's all. All right.